Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out the Glide Gear DEV235 Professional Camera Slider. This is a 23.5 inch slider. Now if you've never heard of Glide Gear before, they're a really cool company that make all sorts of kind of different things for camera equipment such as jibs, sliders, cranes, steady cams as well for kind of you know when you do your motion shots walking along there's all sorts of different things out there for all you kind of guys that do produce these videos makes your life so much easier when you got this kind of stuff so all the links for these will be in the description below if you want to go and check them out in a bit more detail it was developed in the usa it's also aircraft grade 60 61 aluminium and this is a very really good affordable kind of slider for all you guys that may be kind of getting into the uh, swing of things for youtube and you just want to kind of increase your shots get a bit more of an you know, better effect on what you're kind of producing this could be something that kind of is up your alley so it comes in a really nice black protective bag as well it's very heavily padded as well so when you're taking it about if you're bashing it about you know maybe you're going to an event taking it on the train it's going to hold hold up to all the kind of abuse that you may expect it to come against it only weighs 2.4 pounds as well so it's very light um, the carry strap's very long as well so you can easily chuck it over your back the bag is actually double stitched as well so uh, you've got little seg segments for the individual feet and it just makes it all kind of like not one nice little neat package so on the left we've got one of the legs in the pocket and then there's the other on the right hand side and then we've got the side of it itself all contained in one little bag nicely to carry about so the legs are really easy to screw on as well they've just got a single thread and the kind of orientation of the angle that's cut into the metal indicates which way it goes round just goes on with a little thumb screw and then that's locked in just repeat that for both sides there's also an allen key adjustment or thumb screw adjustment for the legs as well so when you've got it to the perfect position you can really lock it off if you want to to make sure it doesn't go anywhere but i found using my thumb was good enough so on the actual slider plate itself it's got a one quarter to three eighths adapter so many tripods use the kind of thicker um, three eighths adapter many tripods use the one quarter inch but some of them you know some of the cheaper options do have a three eighths kind of connection and this just kind of allows you to use whichever you wish i found that once i put my tripod head on it kind of locked in place and couldn't take it off but it didn't really prove as a problem as i used the uh, the one quarter size stuff the actual plate itself has an independent adjustment as well for kind of giving you a really good resistance when you actually slide or really light depending on how you kind of want it to work there's also a one quarter and a three eighth adapter on the bottom of the actual slider so you can mount this to a tripod easily as well and there's a quick demonstration on the actual camera and how smooth it is to use it's just literally the plate and the metal as well but it's very smooth considering the price you get and we're next actually going to show you some just sample shots of things I've reviewed recently to give you an idea on how smooth they are. None of these clips have been adjusted in any way. These are all the raw files. Sometimes I may put a warp stabilizer on some clips if they're kind of very shaky, if I'm kind of in a rush with the video. But generally, um, it's not required because it's very smooth, I've found. But these are some raw shots for you to all see. This shot here was all done freehand as well. It may look kind of like it's slightly edited, but I literally used the adjustment to give quite a bit of resistance and then kind of nudged it along the track. Came out really well, actually. I was really pleased with how that actually turned out. But once you've got this mounted to a tripod and you've got your kind of ball head or whatever you want to use on the top, you've got a really good killer combination for making some awesome kind of shots for your videos. A really good price as well. It's kind of $120, which is about £75 in the UK at recording this at the kind of time of recording this but all the links for one of these will be in the description below a big thank you to Clark Gear for sending this out and yeah really awesome so thank you for watching this guys i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all again in the next video